and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV. Now we have news of upcoming stuff coming to you very shortly, in fact, on the 12th of January, just around the corner for patch 5.41. Now this is long awaited, and if you go to the patch 5.4 Futures Rewritten Special site, which I'll have linked in the description, you'll see there are two new sections updated, the media section at the bottom and the gameplay section. So if we click on the gameplay section, it will scroll us down. If we scroll past the stuff we already have access to, you will find the Ishgardian Restoration Updates. And it says in 5.41, With the resistances of a new nest providing homes for countless Ishgardians and the markets of Featherfall ever flourishing, the firmament is evolving day by day into the living, breathing heart of the post-war Holy See. So it is that Lord Francel de Hallianart turns his eyes to the fourth phase of the restoration effort, which will see the construction of a cultural district, which will see the construction of a cultural district where noblemen and commoner, man and dragon alike, might further enrich their lives through aesthetic pursuits. We have four images here. The first of which is surely from the unveiling of a statue. We've seen this picture before, actually. Um, that's what most people think, because there's going to be statues to represent, or monuments, sorry, to represent whichever of the classes, uh, the crafting or gathering classes, was the, the most submitted in that time period. So it'll probably be like, a, I don't know, a saw if it was a carpenter, for example, or it could be a fishing rod or something like that. I think it's actually only crafters, the more I think about it. I don't remember if it was gatherers as well, but it would be nice, wouldn't it, if gatherers were included. The second image then, this is the one that's actually hitting the press lately today. A lot of people are exploding about. This is the brand new glamour that you can get from the Ishgard Restoration. So your guesses if this is going to be from the, uh, the Koopa of Fortune minigame, or if this is going to be from just straight up script exchanges. Um, my bet would be on script exchanges, personally, but it wouldn't be the first time that they've put a complete set into the Koopa of Fortune. It does appear to be diable, only the diable sections, from what I can tell, do appear to be only the jacket and the... What do we call that? I think in England we call that a bum bag. I'm not sure, but it's around our... I don't know, it's like a satchel, isn't it? A front satchel. It's where you keep your money, usually, something like that. I don't know. Don't correct me on that. I know that in, in England we call those bum bags, and you usually have them around your waist. I don't know. What do you call them in America? Not sure. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, you'll notice that the male and female does look pretty much identical. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any major differences there, is there? I can't tell. I mean, the male one, because he's put his, uh, his hand on his, his waist there, you can see that the elbows are patched. I believe the female one is as well. So this looks like multi-gender. Doesn't seem to be any differences. Oh, there is a bit of a difference actually, isn't there? Unless this is just how it's worn on the Makote female versus the the male human here. Hmm. But we've got a bit of a shirt tucked differently. Uh, slightly, actually, much different, isn't it? The the female version has. The exposed elbow, uh, shoulders rather, not elbows, they're down here, Mioni. And then a bit longer of a, of a top. So much so that it's covering a majority of the shorts area. Interesting. I can't wait to see how this dies in the palette options. I would imagine it will just be the main fabric here, the, the pink and the red bag. Like the leather bag and the, and the orange top for the male there. And the shorts presumably will just die. And maybe the main fabric of the of the boots although we could get very unlu unlucky and have just the laces and details die but we'll have to wait and see either way i'm very hyped for that one in particular the second image then is the sweep emote a lot of people knew this was going to be added to the game this was in fact in the patch files for 5.1 uh, 5.4 rather a lot of people wondered um when we were getting this it seems to be part of the ishgard restoration it makes sense clearing up basically um yeah so that's one of the new emotes then is to to sweep away dust um i don't know if this is a persistent emote it would be nice to know if it is or not um i would imagine it's probably not but it would be really cool if this was a persistent emote much like the npcs that do it around the firmament and i think there's a few in other parts of the world as well especially around reborn areas and the other image got me very hot under the collar and very excited 
is this crab mount. Um, this will be in this patch. Um, presumably from the Ishgardian restoration. I originally thought this was going to be part of the ocean fishing. But as you know, you can probably guess that uh, this is obviously a Final Fantasy XI model. Or at least it's identical in that game. You can get a mount that's identical to this, the blue crab. Very hyped for that one. It's hilarious sitting on the back of a crab. And I did say the one mount that I would like to see in the future would be a crab mount. It seems I got my prayers answered. So there we go. That's the uh, the main update for the special site. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can get high-res images of all of that stuff, including the glamour, of course, which I'm incredibly happy um, and looking forward to. Let me know what you're most hyped about in this particular patch. Are you for the glamour? Are you for the sweep emote? Or are you all about that crab mount? I know that I teeter between the glamour and the mount personally. Anyway, let me know what you're excited about. Look out for uh, January the 12th for patch 5.41. I'll have some patch notes when, uh, when we get close to that. And obviously cover the patch in detail as usual on the channel. Much love and I'll see you all next time.